We are outside the Supreme Court building and the judgment on the restraining order against the nomination or against the swearing in of Yakumba's replacement who is um, Fode Gasama has just been concluded by the Supreme Court and the restraining order filed by Yakumba's lawyers have been dismissed. So that means um, the replacement Fode Gasama will go on and get sworn in and take his seat while the main issue, the constitutionality or lack of it of the revocation of Yakumba JT's nomination as MP is 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 is, is um, goes ahead. So this is where we are, and we have a lot of supporters here. Yakumba supporters are all over the place, and of course, a lot of them they they all disheartened, they all disappointed, and they don't accept at the, at this ruling. So there is a lot of um lot of anger. There is a lot of frustration among the supporters. So what we're going to do is to go and try and talk to some of the supporters on what they think, on what they feel about this um judgment, this ruling. I thank God that today we have victory over dictatorship and uh, we are trying to strengthen democracy by challenging decisions of um, um, so-called leaders because when you are in that house or in that uh, state house you are the leader but your decisions should not all the time stand we are saying that we have a young democracy we want to bring uh, we want to encourage women into democracy we want to involve people into democracy how soon how soon can we just take, if I, if I did not forget, that section 93D for not the political parties take advantage over their, 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 their MPs to represent them if it doesn't go in the interest of the country. But we want that democracy. We don't want anybody to have control single-handedly. So if the president whom we think that's the president before here, Yaya Jame, was using his powers like that, and today this man is coming to use the same thing, it's a disgrace. Even if, even if the constitution even give him the right to do so, he should understand the, uh, the, the, the political environment we are in today. We are trying to encourage, we are trying to tell people Gambia is a democrat, it's a democratic country, we are, we are moving in the right direction. You know, president can be, can be criticized, he should be criticized, he should accept it. But I can say they are just encouraging the president to cause the same mistake, to cause the same gathering, to cause the same chaos. You understand? Because it's going to lead him somewhere. Probably that will be the ignorance of what we don't want to have in this country. Today you are telling him what you did is good. Because the reason why he moved, he did that move, was baseless. Was baseless. So I don't know why they should even accept that thing there. They should have not even encouraged it. No matter what, for me, I'm not giving them credit for that. I'm very much disappointed. And I think um, the court should look into the matter um, for the second time. I'm not a legal luminary. I'm, I'm not a National Assembly member, but like as a ward councillor, I believe um, 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 the will of the people should always be uh, 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 put into, 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 into consideration. So uh, the verdict for me, well, is the court, is their description, but for me, as a person and as my, um, my, my own thought, I'm not so, um, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it is it is professional. I am a citizen and a concerned citizen for that matter. I can also extend my dissatisfaction. And that dissatisfaction is, I am not really happy about the move that was taken by the president himself at first. For the fact, Yakumba, people have to understand in fact what we mean by nomination and what we mean by appointed at first. The president nominated Yakumba, but he is not the one who appointed Yakumba. Nominating a person and appointing a person is two different things that we need to understand. And this is what had happened. And in fact, this thing we have to fight against this to take this out of our constitution. Because if a president alone is given that right to nominate five national assembly members, thousand people are in their constituency, they are only there to vote for only one person. Who is the president then? And we are all governed by a law. And that law of the country is the constitution that guided. So therefore, if President alone can nominate five National Assembly members, now what of us, I and you, who are citizens, we belong to a particular constituency. That constituency consists of thousands of peoples. So if that constituency is there to nominate only one person and the president is there to nominate five, this is what the entire citizens need to fight against to take that out of our, 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 our constitution. I am very worried for the fact if the president do not respect the other organs of government. He want to interfere in all matters that concern the other government.
then therefore I fear the generation that we are heading to. For the fact, the president, we are hoping that we are going to have another dictatorial regime in this country. My brother, separation of in order for us to test the sweetness of democracy, separation of our must be observed. And this is not operating in this country right now. Well, it is disappointing. It is disappointing because knowing the significance of the judiciary as far as the process of democratization is concerned and then the strengthening of the rule of law is concerned, one would get to understand that the ruling of the court today is indeed disheartening because the judiciary is the only leg of nation that can keep the nation together. Without the judiciary, we are going to live in a banana republic and which we don't want. This is what we fought for in order to bring democracy in substitution of dictatorship that has been choking us for decades. I see no future for the presidency because he has, one, he has again showcased to the Gambian people that he is another agreeable dictator. Remember, people need to understand that dictators vary. Dictatorship doesn't only mean that one has to kill or torture people or incarcerate people. But dictatorship also is about violation of the principles of the rule of law and then the violation of the constitution. In fact, people need to understand that the violation of the constitution is the advanced stage of dictatorship. So as far as this presidency is concerned, I see no future. This is something that, you know, surprised me. And the way I am seeing things at the ground here, Keba, okay. I'm really surprised. Okay. I got this information almost 5.30 a.m. in the morning, that security personnel, you know, mounted kick points all over the courthouse here. We were here on Monday, there was no violence. When we talk of, you know, democracy in the Gambia here, I think still we are talking of democracy, but we're not implementing what democracy is. And as I am seeing, if we don't change our nature, the, the, the present government will be more than you know, the, the, the past government that we have seen. Because a situation where I am reading, it seems nepotism and uh, other you know, things like corruption and other things are developing more.